Hybrid tutorial videos for users. Use. Turning on and off. Turn on and off the machine using the main switch. Remove the filter holder. Ensure it is empty and slide it in again. When you first switch on the machine or the machine is cold, a small amount of water will be delivered from each group head. Filling the hoppers. To fill the hoppers, operate on the lock with the appropriate key. Raise the cover and fill up the hopper with your coffee beans. To remove a hopper, operate on the lock. Close the shutter pulling it out and raise the hopper. Idle screen. On the idle screen, you have 12 icons for 12 available drinks. Touching the page icon, you can find the other six beverages. On the right, you can see the current pressure of the steam boiler and the current pressure of the hot water boiler, meaning the extraction pressure. On the bottom bar, you find two icons for the auto steamer, if present, one valid for a small mug and one for a big mug. The icon for delivery of hot water from the nozzle. The exclusion of the grinder. In order to brew a coffee, manually adding the coffee powder. The flush of the shower head to be carried out regularly. After flushing, you always need to remove and refit the filter handle. If you touch the menu icon on the bottom right corner, you can access several functions. There are two groups of functions. In Informations, you can find both the software version used by the machine and have a look at the drink counters. With the top left button, you can go back to the home page and then into the main menu page again. The second group of functions, Parameters, can be accessed only by the technician with the proper USB key. He can modify the drink recipes, the general parameters of the machine, the firmware and download all the drink recipes. On the bottom bar you have the icons related to the energy saving functions. With the sleep icon you can switch off the power. Touching the screen again, the machine starts to heat up again. With the second icon you can put it into standby mode. In the standby mode, the temperature falls down to about 70 degrees Celsius, substantially decreasing the energy consumption. You can choose to put it in standby either the steam boiler or the single brewing group with related hot water boiler, or both together. Just touch the related icon or retouch it to reset on normal operating temperature. With the third icon, you can reboot the machine. Just touch it and the machine will switch off the power and restart again. With the fourth icon, you start the cleaning cycles. You can carry out the procedure independently, either for the brewing group or for the milk system or the auto steamer wand. With the fifth icon, you slightly modify the quantity of ground coffee for all the drinks for that brewing group, plus to add one gram, minus to decrease the same amount, zero to go back to the initial setting. With the last icon, you can switch the lighting of the working space on or off below the brewing groups. Grills. To move the grill from its upward position, Hold and pull down. To lift vertically, push up from the bottom of the grill. The flippable grills can be used to place the small cups. Instead, they can be lifted for a taller glass. Up to 139 mm tall glasses. For about 450 ml capacity. Drinks preparation. Insert the one or two cups filter holder into the group. Only the related drinks will be available. Place one or two cups under the dispensing spouts. Select the desired beverage on the touch screen display. 
The delivery screen shows three icons. The first shows which drink the machine is currently brewing. The second one shows the overall delivery time from the moment you have touched the drink icon. By the third one, you can stop the delivery in advance. The bar shows the progress of the delivery of the drink. For the coffee drinks, selecting the middle icon, you can make the delivery as continuous until you stop it manually. On the right bar, you can see the current pressure inside the filter holder and the pressure of the steam boiler. Touching the third icon, you can stop the delivery in advance or you can stop the continuous delivery. After delivery, remove the filter holder and empty it into the coffee knockout drawer. To ensure the proper cleaning of the brewing chamber, clean the inside of the filter holder with a manual brush. If you don't do this, you cannot brew another drink. Refit the filter holder into the brewing group. It will immediately ready for another delivery. To deliver drinks with two cups, simply change the filter holder. The related available drinks will be shown. If you forget to empty the filter holder on the following request of a drink, the machine will grind the coffee, but it will stop and will not then brew any coffee. On the top right corner, you will see an alarm message. After pushing the icon, execute a recovery cycle, remove the filter holder, empty it and clean carefully the inside of the brewing group to avoid that any coffee powder could fall into the cup on the following brewing cycle. At least once every hour and at least every 20 deliveries, it is suggested to select the icon Rinse to let some water flow through the group head and therefore clean the filter holder. If the periodic alarm has been set, after a certain number of deliveries, the user is required compulsory to carry out the flush. Drinks with decaffeinated coffee. To brew a drink with decaffeinated coffee, you either have to fill a hopper with decaffeinated coffee beans or to have a decaffeinated ground coffee container ready to be used. Here we show how to perform the second procedure. Pour the ground decaffeinated coffee into the filter holder. Do not manually tamp the coffee. The compression is automatically done by the machine. Select the icon decaf button on the touchscreen display. Insert the filter holder and place the cups. Select the drink you want to brew. After delivery, empty the filter holder. Milk-based drinks. Cappuccino Torre. Put the connector of the suction hose into the other connector on the cover of the milk container. The milk container is supplied with the machine. Place the cups on the grill and insert into the left brewing group, the one or two filter holders. Select the desired beverage on the touch screen display. The milky drinks will be available only on the left group. Be sure to place the cup underneath the two delivery spouts. Both will deliver milk. During the programming, the correct amount of milk has already been set to be delivered for one cup or two cups. The consistency of the milk foam and its temperature are set during the drink programming and can be changed. Milk frothing with the auto steamer wand. With the auto steamer wand, you can froth the milk automatically inside the jug without executing any kind of movement. Just pour the milk inside the mug until the milk reaches about half height. You can use either a small or a big jug. Insert the auto steamer wand into the jug. Either on the bottom bar or among the programmed drinks, Touch the icon of small jug or big jug, depending on the size of the jug you have used. Wait until the auto steamer wand frothes the milk. It will stop autonomously when the preset temperature has been reached. Extract the wand from the jug. Use a proper cloth to clean it and keep pushed one of the two auto steamer icon for some seconds in order to purge it. The auto steamer icons have become red and it means you cannot use the auto steamer again until it has cooled down. Operate the proper rotational movement of the jug in order to fix the foam with the liquid milk. Pour the milk foam into the cup. 
If you want to adjust the texture and consistency of the foam, operate the air to steam ratio regulator on the left side of the machine. A clockwise rotation results in a more fluffy foam. Manual milk frothing. Immerse the manual steam wand into the liquid to be frothed. Operating the steam tap knob vertically, upwards or downwards, the outflow of the steam is continuous, so you have to manually return the knob to the central off position. Operating the steam tap knob horizontally, on the left or on the right, the knob returns automatically to the center off position. Team fusion. To infuse the tea using the hybrid, please use specifically a brewing group and an identified double filter holder only for that. Otherwise the taste and flavor of coffee and tea can mix together, resulting in bad drink quality. To infuse the tea for a single cup, take the double filter holder and put chopped tea leaves inside the filter basket. The quantity depends on the recipe, but it's about 1.5 to 3 grams. Without pressing the leaves, fit the filter holder into the brewing group and push the green icon. The tea infusion cycle delivers a first amount of water that has not to be collected. Useful to rinse the tea leaves. After the first delivery, the group rests in place while the tea leaves inside the filter basket are infusing. In the meanwhile, put a cup under the brewing group. The pause depends on the drink recipe and affects the taste. The second delivery contains the proper tea. At the end of the delivery, thoroughly flush the shower head and the filter basket to prevent any used tea residue to remain inside the basket.